Welcome to Anthony's Outdoors. And it's been a long time since we've been out on the water. We're finally getting out. Took basically the whole summer off. And uh, Courtney was just hounding me to go fishing. So we had a free Saturday and uh, we came up to a lake we've never fished before. And we're just gonna give it a shot. I don't know too much about this lake. I know they stock a ton of muskies in here, but uh, we're gonna give it a whirl with some bucktails and bulldogs fishing shallow flats. And if that doesn't work, maybe some steep breaks and we'll go from there. Taking the summer off wasn't something we wanted to do, but it had to be done. I started a new job right after the muskie opener in Wisconsin and needed to build up vacation time. And Hunter, well, he underwent knee surgery, which was going to take a long time to recover. But we can say he is just about back to normal. And Hunter, what do you have to say for yourself? Hunter. So you stop whining when you're on camera? Boop! <laughs> oh, he licked it. So what we're doing just fishing giant shallow flats right now. Uh, we've got water temperatures that are about 70 degrees and uh, we're just running you know the smaller bulldog and uh, double eights right over the top and uh, we'll see if that works. We were gonna fish some steeper break stuff but there were like 12 boats all lined up back to back to back over the same exact spot and super annoying so we're gonna try something different fish this giant shallow flat and see if that works here fishy 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 Courtney caught a really nice muskie here. We are fishing where everybody is not, and that is paying off. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> sweet. All right, so something I've always believed in is fish where other people are not. And Time and time again, it just proves true. We went to an area of the lake where nobody was fishing around us or anything like that. Uh, the first spot we went to had dozens of boats all lined up along a brake line, throwing bucktails, crankbaits, you name it. We decided to come to the complete other side of the lake, a big, shallow, muddy flat, and uh, bingo. Courtney caught a uh, 39 inch muskie, her first muskie of the season, and uh, couldn't be happier for her. So if you get to a lake that's really popular, there's a lot of musky fishermen on it, try to find spots that they're not fishing because it could hold a nice fish for you. I 
Oktoberfest, baby. <laughs> so as you can see, this is what we're fishing. Seven to nine foot flat with weeds that top out at right around the four foot mark. And uh, we've only had the one fish. We haven't had any other follows, but we're gonna keep on keeping on. We'd move on to another shallow flat where it wouldn't take long for another muskie to show itself. Unfortunately, it wouldn't commit, but the reaction on Courtney's face says it all. All right, well, just had a follow from a mid 30s inch muskie using a bass, sparkly bass um, swimming dog came up it was right behind it it kind of screwed up the first turn because I had reeled in a little too far and uh, his nose was right on the back of the paddle and uh, couldn't get him to convert that's the way it goes though but the shallow flats where nobody's fishing is the ticket right now Shallow weed flats seem to be the ticket. It's early September and I've preached it in a ton of my videos. September, the muskies move shallow, they move to those weed flats. And uh, if you're fishing those real steep breaks over deep water this time of year, you're wasting your time. Uh, we've contacted three fish. I just had one practically try to rip the rod out of my hand and actually hurt my elbow in the process. So we're gonna keep at it here for a little bit longer, but uh, we're coming into the low of the day and we might call it a early day and head home but uh yeah we'll see if we can get one in the boat before we leave all right well we're calling it quits four hours we contacted three muskies what do you think good day yeah that's pretty good so what do you think we're coming back oh for sure yeah probably we'll be, next month yeah we'll be coming back to this lake so it's our first time here and uh we're impressed so the DNR, thank you. You stocked a living hell out of this lake, and it's sh it's showing up, so that's good. We saw three nice fish, and uh, Courtney hooked into a 39 inch or so. Fun times, but it's getting hot. Hunter's panting, and uh, we got plans later tonight, so we got to get home. If you like what you saw in this episode, hit that like button, comment down below, and consider subscribing. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs>